What's up guys? It is Friday. We got another update video. Just got a little short one for ya. Let's get started with it. So in the Donator store there is one new item, Elven Venom Cure. It is infinite uh, anti-poison and venom cure. So, uh, perfect item for Zolra or Izal, anywhere we're gonna get poisoned a lot. Just go over the bug fixes and the balance changes real fast. The, uh, the message that said you have received adventure points or whatever, actually I don't even think it says receive, it just says how many adventure points you have. That thing is uh, removed, so hopefully you won't get spammed like that anymore. Fixed an issue that prevented people from getting Zolra tasks, so you should now be able to get Zolra tasks. Dark schematic halves, dark stones, and the book of creation schematic will now yell. As far as balance changes goes, we have the, uh, the juggernaut, the, uh, let me just show you. The uh, Juggernaut from the Dark Weapon schematic now requires 25 Dark Energy as opposed to 50. Izal now respawns faster. Giant Mole, Dagonoth, and Dagonoths, and Calphites should be uh, considered pests now, so the Lightsaber will do uh, double damage against those monsters. You now receive 250 Adventure Points whenever you open an Elite Mystery Box. You also have a chance of finding an Ancient Effigy whenever you open an Elite Mystery Box. Now let's get into the content, so I'll, I'll go over what I just mentioned, the Ancient Effigy. Let me open up some boxes right now and I'll just kind of, I, I assume we'll get one, right? Knowing my, I, I think it's one in three chance, so I mean like, if I didn't get one from 20 it'd be really unlucky. There we go, right there, so we got some. Um, also added a couple new items like Adventures Approval, that's probably a shitty item to get because it's technically less money, but hey, some people probably have that over Obsidian Plate Legs, so. Uh, anyway, it's just added some basic stuff to make these boxes a little bit better, no matter what. Uh, so with an effigy, you get these normally from monster drops. The higher the monster's combat level, the better, uh, the more likely you're, you are to get them. Uh, there's essentially two that start off, so it could either be the fletching, woodcutting, or... No, they're, of course they're the same, but uh, let me just see if I can get one of the other examples. There we go, invention and crafting. So you can see they're not, like, so there is some variety. It's very similar to RuneScape 3's version. Um, so, like, let's just say you complete it and you complete woodcutting, you get... Hold on. Okay, I don't know what happened there. My brain just kind of went dead. Uh, but anyways, HFG, so you get it from Monsters. Starts off, you, there's four different tiers, very similar to... Um, very, 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 very similar to RuneScape 3. So then you have the 97 tier, then you got your little blah blah, then you you do this and you get a random tome which gives you some more additional experience. So yeah, just uh, basically a nice chunk of way to get of experience. Um, I always liked FGs, was one of my favorite things that they added in the game, so it should be kind of fun to mess around with that. Especially for anybody who's trying to max. So the next thing we have right here is the very first mass boss. This is the undead cow. Do Kong Kong Moo or Kong Kong Cow. And you can get over here. Um, again, I, it's it's all experimental. You know, this is the first one. So we got to, you know, figure it out. Figure out what we need to change. If we need to make it so cannon can't be activated or whatever. This boss is incredibly easy. It has very low hits. The basic principle of... Did it not drop anything to... I didn't get a drop. Uh, maybe you have to do a minimum. Uh, I think you. All right. Well, like, like I said, it's experimental. We'll have to mess with it. <laughs> maybe you have to do a minimum amount, and I didn't do enough to even qualify. Uh, I'll, I'll get in on this next kill just to make sure it's all working. I probably should have tested this a little more. Uh, it was something that Dark coded, and we tested it a bit when he when he added it. But that was it was supposed to be in last week's update. It just didn't get finished in time, so that's so that's why it didn't happen. But hopefully, it should all work. And the the the, the, the drops are not like I'll, I'll show you. So they're not meant to be insane. There's basically only one thing you even need to care about. I'm actually just gonna keep doing damage just to make sure I do at least enough to get it. it you have to do, I believe. What uh, I I don't know. I didn't think you had to do 10% to get the amount of loot, but maybe do it. I just accidentally delete his cannon, or did he move it? And that was a coincidence. I clicked it at the same time. Starting to feel that. Uh, All right, so let's see. I'll, I'll pause and resume. Okay, so I, yeah, I think I got a drop, right? Is this my drop right here? Okay, <laughs> y'all see it. Uh. So then I didn't get a drop. 
Uh, did, what, how much damage did I do? I did eight damage. Am I not? I'm, I think I'm legit not doing enough damage to get a fucking loot. All right, shit. Uh, let me spawn some gear and try again. <laughs> okay, so I hit it with a P ring this time. Which, like, if if the da if not doing enough damage is the problem, then we should definitely uh, not have that problem. All right, P ring. Okay, yeah. Uh, oh, look, there's the first. There's the first one. I probably shouldn't have P ringed it because. I don't know if P-Ring actually affected that or not, but I know that P-Ring makes you get multiple loots. That's why there's a million loots. Uh, well, at least we know one of them worked, right? Uh, so I'll show you a little bit of the... Um, why, why, why are you telling me that? I, of course I know that. Six, seven, five, nine. What, what about ID? So these are... This is basically the only thing you're going for. I will show you the drops. Cow. Undead, massive undead cow. Yeah, there's basically nothing you want. I mean, there are clue scrolls, so this could be a... Uh, I don't think it's a good way to get fast clue scrolls, because, I mean, you have to kill this kind of slow, tanky boss. Um, it actually... It should, because Salve is based on the names of the monsters, so Salve should work here, because it just has Undead in the name, so it should work. Um, I mean, if it doesn't, let me know. But it definitely should. Uh, so yeah, the group blue chest, that's the thing, that's like the only thing you really want, that's all you're here for. Uh, I'll open a couple of these, bam. Purple skin scroll, cracker, very nice. Uh, so these are kind of weird in that you saw there's a lot of barrels items, those are obviously not going to be what you want. But there's also some pretty interesting things that are also not obtainable elsewhere that we just can't get any examples of. Of course, when I spawn them on the test server, it reads... Okay, there we go. There's an example. Thama, Thama, Mama's, Thama Mama's Scepter right there. Thama Mama's Scepter. Got a pair of Ranger Boots right there. Those should have yielded, right? Yep, yep. This thing right here, Dragon Metal Shard. There's some there's some interesting stuff. I'm not going to go through everything. I'm actually going to make a proper opening video on those. And a um, little pro tip for anybody who actually watches this video and you're watching this video at this point. Save your boxes. If you happen to do the boss over the week, save them. Don't open any of your chests because in the next update there will likely be one bigger item added that that I just wasn't able to get in this update. So, uh, or open them now if you want because you know <laughs> some people are patient. But hey, pro tip for anybody who's watching at this point. So that's uh, that's the undead cow boss. That's the effigies. That's the thing. You can also buy the uh, the um, the group loot chests from the pest control shop. Let me go double check that. And make sure I didn't make the price two points and somebody's there right now you know stockpiling chests my games press control press control teleport exchange yay 2000 points so I, I don't really know if that's like too many points or too few points I just pick that number and figure it fuck it so I, I still don't know if I mean there, there we go there's another way make a meat got both nice he's a master so it makes sense Pays to be a master. Pays to be a master. There's no coincidence that the master got both. Hey, you got something unique, too. One of these new bad boys. Uh, and then it now tells you that when double slayer and double pest control events are active. Speaking of which, double pests. We will have double... That, and fuck you. <laughs> double PC. <laughs> we will have double pest control points added all week. So if you want to do some pest control and try to get some of these caskets saved up for the next update, then by all means... Last update, uh, 4703, if you have a dark stone and you use a hammer on it, you get 5 energy. So just, if, you, if you're if you one of those people that happen to get more dark stones and energy and you want some extra energy, or you're a donator and you, you want to play the game as easy as possible, buy these and smash them. I don't know. I don't care. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you very soon with that uh, group loot opening video. And then I also have a Laren's Key opening video, so two opening videos coming very soon.